right, here we are in a beautiful Bakersfield, California day. Very nice, 1955 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop resto mod. Done in a true resto mod sense. It retains all its factory trim, bright work, that kind of thing. Updated with powertrain chassis. Walk around and tell you about it like we used to do. Sitting on 18s and 19 custom fit Savini wheels, one-off wheels for this car. It's sitting in a uh, custom chassis that utilizes roadster shop rails. It was custom built by a gentleman that actually worked for roadster shop at one time. Utilizing the uh, roadster shop rails. Very nice. We'll have it up on the lift here for you. Has uh, four wheel Willwood disc brakes with Hydro Boost on it. Savini wheels give this very nice look. Finished in a uh, dark amethyst. This is a uh, uh, got a light pearl to it. Both have metallic in them. Kind of give you a good feel there. You can see my reflections in the side of the car. We're getting a little bit of traffic here, so I'm going to get through this as quick as I can today. Still has the factory hood ornament here, that type of thing. The finish is very nice, professional. This car actually won some uh, several awards at Run to the Sun in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. It was actually on the t-shirt, one of the t-shirts one year. Underneath the hood here is a uh, Chevy 350 V8, aluminum cylinder heads, uh, air gap style intake manifold, four barrel carburetor, 700 R4. Ford 9 inch rear differential up front here, tubular control arms, rack and pinion steering, power rack and pinion steering, out backs, a four bar suspension, coilovers on all four corners. Has a nice smoke glass in it. We actually photographed the passenger side with all the windows up on the car to kind of give you a feel with the windows up. Same tint that's on the back glass. Grilled slotted rotors up front here with a Willwood disc on it. Forgot to mention it has a smooth bumper up front, gives it a nice slick look. Otherwise factory chrome grill and bright work, that type of thing. Does not have the wiper arms on it, however the wipers are functional. Door jam to door jam, very nice little fit and finish. All new hardware, that type of thing. Limited miles on this one, about a thousand miles on this build. Custom interior, looks like cut down seats in it. Um, seat belts, retractable seat belts up front here. Nice cup holders in the center, flip up console. Vintage air conditioning, Kenwood audio with a uh, big screen there. See the seat belts in the back. So this kind of car you can definitely drive. I drove this car, I'll give you a couple clips of me driving it. But uh, really nice, the window. Rain drip rails here are very cool. They shut like they're supposed to. They come down, don't have to help them. Again, 19s in the back, 18s in the front. Savini's out of Anaheim. Smoke glass in the back window like I talked about. Audio speakers in the back here. You can see the pearl, the light there on the uh, silver metallic. Dark amethyst as I get around the front there. Maybe I can cover that and catch some sunlight on it. Trunk's finished off just like the inside of the car. Nice feel, great look. Good stance. Still retain the factory fuel door here. I believe those are Falcon ZR speed rated radials on it. To give you a feel of the color here, I was trying to do that. One mirror. Still retains the wind wings, that type of thing. Again, going along with the factory look. Headliner. There's a tilt steering column, plated. 
lots of room in here if you're a big guy. Vintage is, plate is attached where it's supposed to be. 1,075 miles. I put a couple miles on it. Fired up here. Classic instruments gauges. <laughs> it is a healthy one. You'll see that on the drive. Got a tack here. Oil pressure is just over 50 pounds. Temp car, the car really hasn't warmed up. 13, 13 and a half volts. Fuel gauge about a half. Vintage air and heat, functional. Let you hear it run here. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here. Very nice, follows along the rest of the car. Nice finish all the way through here. Up front here, it has a uh, polished aluminum radiator core radiator support. Polished aluminum radiator here. AC condenser wrap on it. AC lines up front here. You'll see the finish. They use stainless hardware, that kind of thing. Paint finish follows all the way through the firewall. Very nice billet hinges. You can see the reflections in the paint quality in the bottom side of the hood here. AC and heat lines. Serpentine belt drive. 350 Chevy V8. Great engine, has an upgraded camshaft in it. We'll do our best to get specs for you when we get back to the shop or more details if we have them. Holly four barrel carburetor, dual feed, HEI ignition has Sanderson short tube headers on it. You'll see the independent front suspension up front here with the tubular control arms. Has power steering here. Has Willwood four wheel disc brakes with a hydro boost here. Hood hinges like we talked about. One more look at the bottom side of the hood. It has a billet support that goes across here. Let's get you in the trunk here. Finished just like the interior of the car. Very nice. Trimmed out carpet. Modern style carpet in it. Has a, a nice little compartment here to access the uh, battery and to store things. There's the on off on the battery. This panel lifts down here. Right here, the battery's over in there. Put all your cleaning supplies in there for the show. This little pocket pulls out of here. It has billet hinges on it, so the deck lid's a little bit heavy. They also, you don't see many guys actually spend the time to carpet these pockets in the deck lid here. The finish is just as nice, right here. We got this nice 55 up on the lift here. Want to cover it with you? Actually, I do this video before I do the walk around on it, so it gives me a really good feel underside. And I know this car well out of Havasu, so uh, smooth bumper up front, very nice. Sitting on uh, Roadster Shop rails, frame rails. They were custom built and assembled by a gentleman that used to work for the uh, Roadster Shop. So it was custom built for this car, the chassis. Has a Heights fully independent front suspension with tubular control arms, power rack and pinion steering. They just went through all the bushings in the front end to make sure that they're all good to go. 
fully adjustable coilover shocks up the front, four wheel Wilwood disc brakes, drilled slotted rotors up front here. Here's the bottom side of the uh, 350 crate engine. Serpentine belt drive, you see from the bottom here, you get a better view. Has a deep sump uh, oil pan on it, mini high torque starter, fuel pressure regulators here. 700R4, automatic overdrive transmission, nicely done body off style restoration. You'll see the amethyst color comes down the firewall here. Trans cooler right here. Nice dual exhaust. Brake bias is right here. Set your brake pressures front to rear. Actually know this car pretty well. Nice floor pans. Seatbelt washers here, so it has seat belts in it. Polyurethane body mounts on it. Four bar front uh, rear suspension here with coilovers. Four nine inch rear differential, probably about a 373 ratio, we believe. Again, the Willwood power disc brakes. It does have an emergency brake. All the tires are new. Jake's electric fuel pump, custom fuel tank on it. Dual exhaust with the uh, X Max mufflers on it, the stainless. Has a stabilizer bar in the rear here. Plenty of adjustment either direction there if you wanted to bring her down a little bit or raise her up a little bit. Out back here, factory style bumper with bumper guards. We'll do a little walk around here. 19 inch Savini wheels on the back, 18s up front. Get a good look at this car. These are fresh wheels and tires on it. 20, date codes 2022, but they were just put on it. Eighteens up front here. I don't know the size in the back because I couldn't see it up in the wheel well. 225 40 ZR eighteens up front. See if I can get a back tire size here for you. I'd like to get a bird's eye view. I'll get that spec for you at Spud's Garage. There you go. All right, heading back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Have a great day.